I just got the Rolly Seaboard Rise 2. It's crazy to think I started my channel when I first bought a Seaboard block and then went on to create lots of videos about it. And now Rolly's given us something new. So how does this Seaboard Rise 2 compare to the original and why is it so important that I actually had an extra drawer built into my desk for it? Let's find out. Rolly sent me the Seaboard Rise 2 and they're sponsoring this video. So this is not really a review, but I can't help it. I'm gonna throw in some opinions anyway. I know you're excited to hear about the new features, so I'll cover that first. But for those of you who are new to this unusual instrument, I'll cover some of the basics in this video as well. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have tons of videos on my channel on music production and the latest music gear. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll be sure to make it worth your while. Now, the first and most prominent change from the original Seaboard Rise is the playing surface, especially these ridges that Rolly calls precision frets. They're calling them frets like guitar frets. And this is supposed to make playing easy and more precise. So does it? I'll demo it in a sec, but first, if you're new to C boards, you need to know what makes these keys so unique and interesting and what makes these frets so significant. On any C board, let's look at the original for now. You can do this. C boards don't have separate keys that make the typical 12 tones like a piano or a regular MIDI keyboard. The tones are all over and in between. Even without these hills and valleys, you could just press anywhere and you get a tone, whether it's a regular tone in a scale or something in between notes. The surface is silicone and smooth, so it's easy to slide your finger around but on the original C boards, that means that you could hit a wrong note if you didn't aim right. So back to the Rise 2 and the new surface and the precision frets. It's now easier to land on the intended note and it's still comfortable to slide around too. The frets just let your fingers know where the center of the key is. So you know, even before pressing, you're going to get the note you were aiming for. Now, what I found playing the Rise 2 for a while is that I'm learning to play it a little differently now. I can feel for the right fret point before I press the note. So I know when I press in, I'm going to get the right Tone. It works extremely well for notes that are closer by. When I'm reaching for notes further away, I find myself peeking down a little. It also works well when you're bending to another note. You can slide your finger up or down, bend, and then work your way back up to the fret point to make sure you're at the right note. This really does improve precision. They've also widened the bumps on each key. Can I tell the difference? Not really, especially when playing, the frets really stand out as guides over the overall shape of the keys. Rolly has improved the responsiveness of the surface as well. The original was responsive enough, so I can't tell a huge difference. The other controls on the left side remain the same as on the original. You can use the XY pad to adjust sounds in real time. fader type controls to adjust parameters. The other buttons are used to cycle through presets and change octaves. There are some other changes on the Rise 2. I'll get to them in a sec, but let's explore some sounds first.
MPE has come a long way since my first Seaboard video. I had Monkwood build a separate dedicated drawer for the Seaboard Rise into my desk. Because this is not a typical keyboard, it's an extremely expressive and unique instrument, and nothing I can put in my main keyboard drawer can replace what this can do. A lot has changed since this original version was out. Ableton Live finally became MPE compatible in its latest version, which means you can now use the Rise 2, or any Seaboard for that matter, and it works, and sounds and plugins respond as they should. I've loaded an instrument included with Ableton Live called Wavetable, and I can choose what the Rise controls in that synth sound. <laughs> And with Rolly's own Equator software, which comes with the Rise 2, you can manipulate sounds in up to five dimensions of touch. Let me show you. You've got Strike. Press. Slide. Glide. Crater is probably the most advanced MPE instrument plugin. I mean, they've evolved this software over time to get better for Seaboards in particular. It has over 1,400 presets and they really take advantage of the playing surface. Hey, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. So Rise 2 comes with Equator 2 and you get other software, including Rolly Dashboard to customize your Seaboard response and setup. Rolly Studio, which I love for arpeggiating and awesome chord features as well. And you can load presets from here. It also comes with Ableton Live Lite, but Equator 2 is really the powerhouse plugin here. And if you like synths, you'll be right at home with it. And you can run it standalone. Oh, the Rise 2 can play other plugins and virtual instruments as well, pretty much functioning like a typical MIDI controller keyboard. The body or frame has changed as well. The color is different. The old one had that black frame and the Rise 2 has this cool blue color. What do you think? Do you like the new blue colored frame or do you prefer that black one? That was black on black on black. Connectivity has been upgraded. You've got a USB-C connector and they've added a MIDI port as well. So you can connect directly to hardware synths. You've also got a foot pedal connection here. And of course it connects over Bluetooth. This is the most latency free Bluetooth experience I've ever had with a keyboard. Why don't other keyboard companies do it like this? And the Seaboard Rise 2 can be battery operated and recharged. It will give you eight hours of battery life and has a three hour charge time. Okay, I thought I'd add some FAQs to the end here. Answers to some questions you guys asked me on Instagram. First, can I order it now? Yes, you can pre-order the Rise 2 exclusively on the Rolly.com site. It's $1,399 and the site says that they are shipping in October 2022 and it'll go on general sale after the pre-orders are fulfilled. Is it better than the original? Yes, it is, for the reasons I mentioned in this video. But honestly, I don't think this is a reinvention, it's an evolution. Is the Seaboard still worth buying? Yes, I've played lots of different MPE touch style keyboards, and Rolly really got it right with the Seaboard. As a keyboardist, this feels most natural, and you just can't do stuff on a regular keyboard that you can do on a Seaboard Rise 2. It's expressive. All right. Is this a controller only? Yes, for sure. Like most other MIDI controller keyboards, this has no onboard sounds. You have to connect it to a computer or a mobile device to hear sounds and play sounds. Does it work with other plugin instruments? Yes, it's compatible with lots of plugins. You can map controls to plugins as well. You'll have to check with your plugin site or Rolly's site to see what's compatible. But hey, even stock Ableton instruments have MPE compatibility now. Ableton Live 11 has it, Bitwig, GarageBand, Logic, Mainstage, Reaper, Cubase, and there are lots of software synths that have MPE compatibility too. 
as well as mobile apps. Like I've said before, MP has come a long way. Will there be a Seaboard block? Well, I wish I knew. The Seaboard block is more affordable, so I hope Roly comes out with a new version with the precision frets feature. But according to their site, there's no plan for it. Yet? I'll keep you posted if I hear anything. Should I get a Rise 2 instead of a traditional MIDI controller? I really prefer having a Seaboard as a second controller. It's a totally different instrument on its own, but it complements a traditional keyboard in that it extends what you can play, the creativity you can achieve. It's expressive and inspiring. I've been a Seaboard fan for a long time, and the Seaboard hasn't left my studio ever since. That says something. I'll put links below this video to order the Seaboard Rise 2. Keep making the music you love, and I'll see you in the next video.